welcome back to our channel it's me sandy and for today's video i am gonna be talking about what i am up to during my quarantine here in korea so it's i think my 10th day and i have four days to go until i'm free and i can finally go out and see the outside world and be part of the civilization <laughs> i don't really do a lot during my quarantine because there's nothing to do i'm just stuck here in the room and i just go out whenever i need to like when i need to use the bathroom or when i go wash my dishes so what i usually do is just sleep i eat and then i play games on the computer or on my phone and usually i play games with mingo because we play PUBG together we might make a video of us playing together like a live stream thing so watch out for that i'd also like to talk about my corona test and what i got from the government during my quarantine here so in my previous video i said that i had my coronavirus test the day after i landed here on that day they picked me up and then they drove me to the nearest health center which was around 20 minutes away from our apartment the driver just waited for me when i got swab in the nose and in my throat after i was done he drove me back home again which was really nice it was all free i didn't pay for anything the swab i really dreaded it because i'm a scaredy cat i hate anything that's intrusive but yeah i'm scared of anything that's sharp like needles i looked it up on the internet and some people said it's not too bad but then others said well it was really painful so i was really scared for myself as well but for me if i had to describe it if you've ever drowned before like in the pool and then when you get water like up your nose and it gets really spicy it is the same feeling as getting swabbed in the nose so deep inside your nose like up here it's like really spicy and really uncomfortable and you just want it gone but it stays with you for like an hour that's how it was for me it lingered for like an hour like the the feeling of spiciness deep inside the nose i wouldn't say it's painful but it's just extremely uncomfortable and i'm just really glad that i'm done and over with it and also the next day they texted my husband the result and it was negative so yay but even though i tested negative i still have to quarantine for two weeks and the reason for that is because there is a chance that i could have contracted the coronavirus while i was traveling from the u.s to korea like maybe when i was in the planes so i have to stay isolated and then watch out for signs and symptoms of the coronavirus but so far it's my 10th day and i never really felt anything i didn't feel sick or anything like that and with the application that i downloaded on my phone so that they can track me i also have to report my temperature twice a day in the once in the morning and once in the afternoon and enough with the coronavirus test i'd like to talk to you about what i got from the government as well when i had my test done they also handed me a bag it's this one it's this bag it has my name on it and then what's inside the bag there's these are trash bags where i put my trash because my trash is considered as biohazard <laughs> so i have to put them here and then i think they're going to pick them up and dispose it somewhere safe and then i also got masks so in each bag there's five of them it's the kf94 and i got three bags so there's like 15 masks and also i got this spray it's a disinfectant spray this is what i use whenever i use the bathroom and every after use i spray so that it's disinfected and also when i go out and wash my dishes i disinfect as well not on the plates but i just use separate plates for now and separate um silverwares but yeah i spray this on the sink and yeah also got uh, some paperwork it has my name on it and some guidelines instructions everything i need to know about 
my quarantine. Also, they're supposed to give me um, a thermometer as well, but then I told my husband that I already have one. My mom prepared it for me when I was still in Alaska. So they didn't give me one. If you're a foreigner and you're coming here and then you have to quarantine, they will give you a free thermometer. And also, I was expecting that they would uh, send out food care packages like the others because I read on the internet that Korea has been doing food care packages for those people who are coming into the country and have to quarantine. But then right now, it just depends on the district. Some districts in Korea still do it, but some districts don't. But I live in the small town of Yangsan. It's near Busan, but here they're not doing it anymore, the food care packages. I'm a little bit jealous because the pictures I see on the internet, there's so much food and it's all really good food. They send out rice and pokery sweat, drinks and soups and noodles yeah it's it's a bummer but it's all right for now my husband just orders delivery or sometimes he cooks for me and then he just knocks on my door and then leave the food right outside the door and then i come and pick it up and then i eat here and then i stack up my dishes and then when he's like gone for work i go out and then wash my own dishes so that's how it's been for the past few days and I'm also really happy that I got to film this video because I got to do my makeup and it's been like a while since I last did my makeup it just feels nice to um, dress pretty and look pretty <laughs> so yeah it's just a quick update you guys that yes I'm still alive I'm surviving I'm still sane <laughs> during my isolation. Ningo and I can't wait to make videos for you guys to enjoy and I hope that you keep supporting us and we're really thankful that you guys are still watching our videos and enjoying our videos. Thank you guys so much. We could not express it enough how grateful we are. If you have any content suggestions, feel free to suggest or recommend and drop a comment below don't be shy <laughs> we read all the comments by the way and if it's in english or tagalog i always translate it to mingo and he's enjoying it as well thank you you guys bye bye